Hey guys, I wanted to shoot a video of the Cooper for you, uh, so you can hopefully, I got it in the shade so the the color will be a little bit clearer as to what it really looks like than, than the pictures that you guys saw online. Um, I mean, I think it's a really sharp color, it's kind of a mocha with the black stripes, it's, it's a good looking ride, but I wanted to make sure that we were able to, to give you a little bit more of a clear look at the whole vehicle and specifically what color it was so i'm going to walk around the outside uh, then i'll open it up show you the inside start it up and take it for a quick spin around the building so you can hear it running as well since i know you didn't get to come with your dad to to take it for a spin today go ahead and open up the back here As you can see, you do have storage behind the second row, uh, even with the seats up. You also have some additional storage under here. Some cubby pockets. Of course it is dual exhaust. It's the uh, Cooper S Clubman. I'll show you how this third door opens up. So if you're traveling with more than one other person, the passenger before they get in, there's not a ton of room back there, but this seat's all the way back. If you pull it forward, you can see there is, there is some room. Cup holders back there. Kind of cool, you have the skylight, sunroof up front, skylight in the back, so. Okay. All right. You have your Bluetooth voice command right there, uh, your cruise control, your speedometer, I'm sorry, that's actually your RPMs, there's your speedometer, your radio, uh, the controls for everything else, heated leather seats, let's get it started and I'll show you. Okay, it does have a uh, air pressure light on which when it gets cold like this isn't abnormal at all. Uh, right there's your fuel gauge, your speedometer, controls for your radio. These are your AC controls, your heated leather seats, you hit it once, it's on high, medium, low, off. It's an automatic, uh, but it's a manumatic, so you can actually pull it down into drive. If you leave it alone, it will function as an automatic. If you move it over, you can shift up, shift down. Well, actually, I got that wrong. Shift down, shift up, or just put it right back over to drive, and again, it's an automatic. All right, I'm going to keep this on while I take it for a quick spin down the road just so you can kind of get a feel for what it sounds like driving um, really fun vehicle your dad got to drive it today uh, I'm sure he'll tell you uh, quite a bit peppier and sportier than maybe it looks but I'm sure that's probably why you're interested in it I won't take it far, just long enough for you to, like I said, kind of get a, a feel for it.
got a lot of pep. That sound that you hear is because I don't have my seatbelt on, which is a bad example and I apologize. Well, I look forward to seeing you guys here on, I believe your dad said Friday would be the best day for you to come back in. Uh, you have a day off school and he's got the day off work. So, uh, like I said, I look forward to, uh, for you getting a chance to drive it on your own and and uh, see if we can't get something figured out. Uh, if you guys have any questions about it at all, please don't hesitate to call me at 812-340-7575. Um, and I'll be able to answer those questions for you. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. See you on Friday.